Hi folks, in this tutorial we'll be creating a simple Spring Boot Hello World application. So for, first we'll take a look at what is Spring Boot and how to use it. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javainews.com. So over the years Spring has become more and more complex and new functionalities have been added. If we visit the page springio.projects, we'll come to know that Many Spring modules have been created over the years like Spring IO, Spring Framework, Spring Cloud, Spring Data, Security Web Services. These are just a few. So a lot of effort is required to start a new Spring project. Suppose if I have to use Spring AOP, then there would be quite a few dependencies that I'll have to add for Spring AOP. And also care will have to be taken that there is no version mis mismatch between two different modules. So Using Spring Boot, we avoid all this boilerplate code and configurations that we had to do previously. Spring Boot helps us to use the existing Spring functionalities more robustly and with minimum efforts. So we'll take a look at how we achieve this using Spring Boot. We'll go to the official Spring Boot website and we'll see the documentation. So here we'll, we can go to the reference guide. Spring has provided very good documentation. So to start a Spring project, uh, Spring Boot has provided two ways. One way is using Spring Boot CLI. Spring Boot CLI stands for the command line interface. Uh, we'll have to download this command line interface and then uh, using the command uh, line we'll have to run the CLI and then create a Spring Boot project. The other way that we are going to use is make use of spring uh, start.spring.io. So similar to the Spring Boot CLI, we can create a Spring Boot application using the start.spring.io project. Spring Boot CLI also internally makes a call to start.spring.io. So there is not much difference between using these both, but I find that uh, using the start.spring.io is much simpler and much faster. So let's have a look at what we have here. Here we can generate either a Maven project or a Gradle project depending on our requirement. Currently I'm going to go with the Maven project. We'll have the latest Spring Boot release that we have. So it is 1.4.2 we are going to use. Here we give the group uh, ID that is required for our projects so it will be com.java in use in this case the artifact will be the project name so I'll give it as spring boot hello world the dependencies part is what makes spring boot so special it is here that we'll specify whatever features or facets that we are going to require in the project and this whatever other dependencies and the configuration will be automatically uh, used in our project. So currently we are just going to uh, create a simple web project. So the only facet or feature that I am going to use is ma make use of is the web. Now Spring provides many such facets or features that we that can be configured to the default settings. So if we go here and click on switch to full versions. Below we can see what all are the features of assets that we can get configured while starting a Spring Boot project. It involves AOP, then for security also we have one we have for web services. We'll see all this uh, in our future tutorials. So currently I will just make use of the web facet and we'll continue forward. Also here I'm going to use Java 1.8 so I can select 1.8. So once we have selected the facets, I'll click on generate project. So here it will download a zip file. We'll take a look at this what uh, the zip file is. So I have unzipped the zip file that we downloaded. It will be the Spring Boot Hello World that we have downloaded. It is a Maven project uh, that uh, gets downloaded because we had selected Maven in the Spring.io. We also have here the MVNW which is a Windows command script. This is required just in case if we don't have Maven already installed. But uh, since uh, I have Maven already uh, configured on my Eclipse, I will not be requiring this. 
so we'll go to eclipse and we'll import the maven project so this is the maven project that we have imported currently we have a single class here single uh, main class this will be the spring boot hello world application we'll uh, take a look at this class uh, a little later currently we'll just take a look at the pom.xml in the pom.xml if you'll see we have only a single dependency that is spring boot starter web now during uh, the creation of this project using uh, spring.io we had specified that we are only going to use the web feature or the facet so spring boot has automatically configured or uh, added a starter web dependency so this dependency will add all other dependency that will be required for this project so we'll just build this project If we go to the Maven dependencies, then you will see that these many dependencies have been uh, uh, downloaded by this single starter web dependency. So, depending on whatever uh, facet we have added to the pom.xml, all the uh, uh, we can say all the corresponding dependencies will be automatically downloaded by Spring Boot. So, we don't have to specify individually what all will be the requirement. It has downloaded everything that will be required for the Spring Web Starter project. Now, let's take a look at Spring Boot Hello World application.java. So, this class, it has been annotated with Spring Boot application. This Spring Boot application uh, is a very recent annotation that has been added. It was not there in the initial versions of Spring Boot. It is a combination of three main uh, other annotations. One of these is the enable auto configuration. This is the most important. What enable auto configuration does is that it tells the project that the facet that has been added is Spring Boot. In this Spring Boot project is the, sp is the web facet. So accordingly download all the dependencies that are there. So this auto uh, enable auto configuration does uh, all the uh, configuration of the default settings that will be required for the web project similarly if uh, we had added uh, facet as spring security enable auto configuration would have itself configured the project so that all the default settings for spring security uh, would already be set up uh, during start time itself so now let's add uh, the controllers and uh, the JSP view for this uh, Spring Boot Hello World application. So the first step that will be there will be uh, creating the controller. For this I'll, I'm going to take reference of my website. So for this the first thing that we are going to do is we'll be creating the controllers. For this, I'm going to take reference of my website uh, javainews.com. So here, we'll be taking use of this tutorial, Spring Boot Hello World application, create simple controller and JSP view. This is the project structure that we are going to create. We are going to add a simple JSP view, welcome.jsp. And also we are going to add controllers. So this is the controller that we are going to make, the test controller. So just copy this class name. Package name will be com.javanews.controllers. So just copy this first. So we have named a controller named as test controller. We are mapping slash welcome.html to return a model and a view named as welcome. Next here we'll create the web app folder. Inside web app, we'll create our web INS. And finally, in this, I'll create another folder named as JSP. 
inside JSP will be our JSP file, which will be welcome dot JSP. So in a controller, slash welcome dot HTML should map to this welcome dot JSP. But currently we are returning the model and view with the name as welcome. So to this welcome, we should add the uh, prefix and the suffix so that it correctly maps to welcome.jsp now in previous spring projects we used to do this using annotations or using uh, xml here we'll be uh, making use of application.properties in application.properties we'll have to copy whatever the suffix or the prefix is there so here we have specified that the prefix will be slash web ins slash jsp and the suffix is where after welcome it will be dot jsp in the welcome dot jsp this will be what will be showing so welcome to spring boot so these are the only changes required just install this and just we'll start the application run this application as a Java application we'll go to localhost welcome.html here we are getting an error now this was very unexpected from Spring Boot on uh, searching for Google for this issue found that for JSP uh, in embedded Tomcat we'll have to add further dependencies in Spring Boot so in a pom.xml we'll have to add these two dependencies and this is required only if we are running this project as a jar file in a dot war file this will not be the case so only for an embedded tomcat this issue exists so just go here and add the dependencies we'll again compile this now run this application again now if we go here and refresh this we can see that we can see the welcome.jsp page it gets loaded correctly so I hope you have understood this tutorial the source code for this tutorial can be downloaded from here Spring Boot Hello World application thanks